you want to say? What did you want to finish telling me? Well, I wanted to... I wanted to um, address something that I did before we left. You were something asking, that you needed? No. I want to address something that I did. Oh. You asked... You were, we were talking about whether we had time to leave to go, you know, do everything. And I, I said to you, you don't understand time. And I kind of... I said it in a very... Uh, I guess inconsiderate way, inconsiderate way, um, and I felt you shift a little bit. I don't know if you remember me saying that to you. I do. It was kind of mean. It was mean. Mm-hmm. It was. It was, and I felt you kind of. <laughs> you said, "Okay, I'm not messing with this fool." But I, you know, it was. I apologize for it. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to come out that way and say it. But I said it, and I apologize to you for it. Thank you for apologizing. Um, I accept your apology. But it, you know, it goes. It goes into that conversation we had about what women need. And I said to you, I don't know what you need. And you told me. Yeah, you know what I need. You know what I need. Come on, you know what I need. And I was saying, I don't know sometimes. I think this was an example of what I was trying to say. Because not needing, like, affection and attention and approval. I know what you need. But in that very moment, you didn't, you didn't need me to be smart at my mouth. What did you need at that moment? I need you to shit up! <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> as simple as that, huh? Support my vision that we could get back home and do those things we said. Okay, before. there you go. Support your vision. Okay. Well, the glass is always half full <laughs> for you. It's always half empty with me. You know where I get that shit it up from? Is that um, Martin Lawrence? Mm-mm, that's Ron from um, A Different World. Oh. I used to tell that to Whitley. <laughs> oh. All right. Sometimes you got to shut it up. Shut it up! Welcome to Can We Talk, I'm Derek. And I'm Sonia, thank you for watching. Today's episode is entitled, Knowing the Keys to Meet Her Needs. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know why he gets so excited. Because I don't know what you're gonna say, the topic is just. Knowing the, need, knowing the keys to meet her needs. So mm. can we talk? Let's talk about that one. Can we talk about it? Mm, can we talk about well, it? Before we start. You got the keys to meet my needs. I got you every got key. Look, okay, okay, okay. My needs. I just want to say can it's 12.04 a.m. And today is my wife's birthday. Yay! She just turned 51 years old. Oh, you're telling all of my business. When you're 51, you can say it like you mean it. I know. Look at all I'm that. Not shame. There you go. Oh, this. So happy. <laughs> Well, stop playing. Happy birthday. Thank you, honey. Happy birthday. I get a kiss? Yeah. You don't like PDA. I don't like all on camera yeah, kissing. Yeah, you got lipstick on your lips. All right, come on. Okay, so go ahead. Mm, the topic. Oh, that's going on. Come on, stop playing. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Knowing the keys <laughs> to meet her needs, brothers. Let's talk about it. Y'all better be watching this because the, the women be watching this. They be watching. And they get all schooled the brothers watch. and emotionally intellectual. I found out the brothers are watching. They're watching? They're watching. Okay, so y'all need to know the keys to meet her needs, okay? Mm. The first key is to ask. Simple See how that. simple that is? Mm. Hey, what you need? And you watched us earlier, Derek X. What you need? Mm-hmm. I don't think I knew. Did I tell you what I needed? You told me to shut up. <laughs> shit it up! Yeah, because yeah. That's what you told me. Yeah, because he was being annoying that day. Right. Whenever we took that, whenever we filmed that. But. Yeah. You just have to ask her, what, do you, what does she need? Now, wise, here's the thing. Come on, let me help y'all out. 
Wives, when your husband asks you, what do you need? You've got one verbal center. He has one verbal center. One. So be specific, be concise. 15 words or less. Not, I need to take the trash out, because last time you didn't take out the trash, and then I was seeing the cockroaches, and then there's a smell in this morning where I got up. That's what I need you to do. That's not what I'm talking about. Just be concise. Be specific. Honey, I need consistency mm -hmm. when you're taking out the trash. See, I said that in 15 words or less. Mm -hmm. I know I did. 15 words or less is the secret, lot, ladies, okay? So, husbands, we're back to you. Just ask. <laughs> now, if she does do all that ranting, just hold it. And say, tell me what that looks like. So the second key is asking for clarity. So husbands, the goal is not to shut down. Not to shut down, not to withdraw, not to walk away. The goal is to find out what her needs are. So if you say what you, what Sonya said, that'll give her a chance to refocus. Right. But don't shut down, because once you shut down and walk away, right. you'll never know what she needs. Right, it's over, mm -hmm. it's over. And, um, our needs may vary. I know it seems like it's confusing to you all because you all say that we never know what we need, but I don't think that's what it is. Our needs change mm -hmm. based on what's going on with us emotionally. And because we are the emotional creatures of the two, husband and wife, I've said that. We are the, mo the, are, we are the more emotional of the two. We have more emotional hormones. There's a reason that God made man and woman to be husband and wife. So how much estrogen do I have? You don't have a lot of estrogen. I got a little bit. Very little bit. But not just enough to tap into my emotional yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, you know, you know, women might have more than the average woman, so they may have facial hair, you know, like you got to kind of tweeze and stuff. Trim it up. And men may have a little Shape bit more. Um, we may have a little <laughs> bit more testosterone, I meant to say. And men may have a little bit more estrogen. You know, some men actually have breast cancer because of that. Right. Um, and so, you know, the estrogen levels vary and the testosterone levels vary. But most women have more oxytocin, which is the hormone related to empathy and bonding in women. More women have that than men. So I say that to say our needs sometimes change and uh, depending on what is happening with us in that time of our life, and it could also be menstrual. You know, because women get more estrogen during their menstrual cycle. So they may feel more emotional and sometimes that causes them to be irritated. Um, and it may not be anything you've done. You might've just been you, boo, <laughs> doing you. And she's just not able to tap into why she's feeling so emotional. In those cases, what a woman needs, the key for that one is quiet support. Be patient. Quiet support. Mm -hmm. Meaning, babe, I'm here for you. Right. Not sarcastically, <laughs> but I'm here for you. Let me know, you know, what you need to get through what you're feeling right now. And that, that empathy and that support goes a long way. I'm not really hormonal like that. Thank God, right? I'm pretty consistent. No, yeah. I'm pretty the, the same kind of person yeah. almost every day. You are. Yeah, for the most part. But mm -hmm. some women are not. Right. And, it, you know, they, it's not fair because some women can't control that. They don't have a say in that. Yeah, and it doesn't negate that they still have needs. Right. Right? You'll find it for the next 15 minutes, Sonya will be doing most of the talking because she's a female. And so she's educating the husbands on what they need. Actually, you can actually do most of the talking because you've been married to me for 23 years. And I do know what you need. And you sure do. Most of the time, well, yeah. except this week when you went, shit it up! Because <laughs> I didn't know what you needed. Right, you were yeah. missing me. I admit I, mean, I was. So, but, you it's know, annoying. we, we um, men, we have a hard time. Mm. It's very challenging, again, to find out what our wives really need. And actually, they say it in their silence. Oh, that was deep. Yeah, we do say it in our silence. Say that again. Our silence can be very loud. But they're saying something. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're saying something. And for those men who are newly married, 
you still have to figure out how to to understand it, how yeah. to tell, how to respond to it. Uh, those men, you're seasoned. You should be able to see it in her silence. And her silence doesn't mean that she's. It, it can mean a lot of different things, but you have to really sit and look. What does my wife need? Is it me? Mm -hmm. Is it work? Is it space? Is it the children? Is I need space? I need somebody to talk to. Her. And, and a lot of men, I hear them say, I don't know, I give up. No, you can't give up because marriage is a school. Every day you're learning. Mm -hmm. So you have to figure out what she needs. And, and Sonia said it, no more to ask. No more. And, yeah. Go ahead. and the reason that we did last week's episode for you husbands to understand um, why it's difficult for you to emote and wives, we wanted you to pay attention to why it was difficult for husbands, for men in general, to emote. The reason we put that episode before this one is because a man isn't going to have a true appreciation for his wife's emotions until he can tap into his own. He won't have an appreciation for your need of comfort if he has never seen right. comfort or been comforted. So he may not know what support looks like if he's never been given support. And so we really wanted to, you know, chronologically share the, the, the emotional suppression cycle of a man so that he can tap into that and receive this message here. And also for you wives to understand that that may be why he doesn't have the key to meeting your needs. It's because he doesn't understand what you may need emotionally. And sometimes our needs aren't emotional. Sometimes our needs are very tangible. Right. Depending on your love language, you could need a massage. You might need a foot rub. You mm -hmm. might need some money. <laughs> that skips. No, so you can go do some retail therapy like I'm going to do tomorrow for my birthday. Or you might need... <laughs> just slid that in there. I heard you. <laughs> you might need um, some, some acts of service. I may need Derek to do some things for but me. But you know, you're saying... He did a good job today. He cleaned I, the garage, I did. Right it before was, my birthday. It was, it was jacked At up. At garage. Okay. Yeah. That was a but big, you, but, but, big no, birthday no, no, present. Back, so back, we don't back. always need emotional yes, things. Yes. Listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. <laughs> listen. What you're saying requires us to understand everything you said. Okay. So... Men, I'm back to you. Sonia mentioned love languages. She mentioned uh, temperaments. She, she, there's so much information that requires- it's a lot of emotional intelligence. You, you have, and it's not difficult. I mean, let me just, if you open a book called The Five Love Languages <laughs> and study that thing, I know her need is acts of service. If you open up a book and find out what her temperament is, Sonia's need, Sonia's temperament is she's uh, uh, sanguine choleric, mm -hmm. choleric sanguine. So her needs is about doing, it's about uh, appreciating the fullness of life. <laughs> and, and so it's, it's, it's really trying to, it's really getting to understand your wife and who she is, how God created her in the essence of who she is. And so, you know, again, we make these excuses. I don't know my wife and I don't know her needs and she talked too much and she's this and she's that. If you slow down a little bit, open up a book, ask somebody, do some research on women and then do some research on your wife, you'll, you'll know how to meet at least those tangible needs. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some needs that have to be met that are, are, are core. They came into the marriage with needs that that may have been traumatic and 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 it's hard for you to understand and get to that place and what to do with it but we'll talk about that before we close yeah so study, study. your wife study so those are actually the keys asking getting clarity and studying those right. are the three keys to meeting her needs so let's do an example i'm sure you have one no, I'm going to do one right now. Oh, okay. What's your needs? What are your needs? I'm asking her the question. Tell me. My needs in this right very, now. In this very moment, you know, you're dealing with your, 
your parents mm -hmm. and, and all these other things. It's your birthday. It's the anniversary of Carla, Carla's death mm -hmm. and your celebration, her birthday and, and your birthday, all that whole November. If we can disappear and let November go past, we would. Mm -hmm. So what are your needs right now? You know, it's interesting because I was just watching a show. Um, I was watching Grey's Anatomy and uh, the narrator was saying, or was it Station 19? It was one of those two. And the narrator was saying they put it really well because you know in those shows they narrate while the actual show is happening and i think it might have been Grey's Anatomy that the writer was saying that there's in in life with relationships there's no black or white mm -hmm. there's grays and yeah it was Grey's Anatomy because i thought they, that was a spin on the grays word um but i was i paid attention to that because when you asked me what did i need it was so, I said to myself, that is so true because it's so gray. It's not, okay, so I'm about, I just, my birthday just came, right? I'm literally on my birthday day. And last week, a week ago, last week this time was the anniversary of my sister's death. Two days before that was her birthday. And I've got all these emotions going on. My mom wished me happy birthday three days early because <laughs> she don't know what day it is. Bless the Lord. And my dad didn't even know it's the month of November. Okay? So there's all these mixed emotions, right? So it's it's gray. Mm. It's so gray. You've got grief and loss. You've got adjustment to new parents, which is sadness. Um, with some hope, you know, because I'm just like hoping that each day they'll remember something significant. And then you've got my birthday, which is gratefulness. I'm so grateful to be alive. But then today I also was regretting that I was the one alive and my sister wasn't. Mm. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Gray. All of those emotions happened between November 6th to November 15th. Mm. Gray. Yep. So what? I have coined my wow. feelings gray. Wow. They're gray. <laughs> because gray is a combination of black and white mixed up in there, right? That's so me. we never talked about this. This is the first I'm hearing. I mean, I know, I know it, but to hear it. So I asked the question. She gave me the answer. So men, we can't sit mm. okay, and walk away from that. So what do we do with that? I know this month is very challenging for you. And I heard a lot of feelings, emotions, um, sadness, some regret. <laughs> your lips are really cute. Some, right? stop playing, stop playing. <laughs> I'm being serious right now. You have lipstick on your lips, it's so cute. Sadness, regret, um, what was the other emotion? Hope. Hope. Mm -hmm. Gratefulness. Gratefulness. Mm -hmm. Some of those things. And grief and regret. And grief and regret. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere. I'm the rock. I got my stuff going on. I have my needs. Right now, they don't even matter. So I'm the rock. And some of those things I can meet, some of the things I can't. At least I know what you're feeling. Well, what that's what need. I'm feeling. I didn't say what I needed. What time? And you asked me what I needed, right? Or did mm -hmm. you ask me how I felt? No, I asked you what you needed. You told me how you felt. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we will do that sometimes. I'm responding to the feeling. To get to the need, Ha, ha, ha. Now we teach this. And I just did it. To get to the need, you got to know the feelings. To get to the need of your wife, you've got to know her feelings. To get to the need of your husband, you've got to know his feelings. Mm -hmm. So you trace the feelings, you'll find the need. Y'all can have that one. That's therapeutic. So we found my feelings. My need would be support, comfort, Space, laughter, gifts. Support, <laughs> content, okay, gifts. Gifts because, well, I have my, I'm, I'm very okay. sentimental. And so for my birthday, I like to see things for my birthday. I'm not really, uh, uh, I don't really like a lot of things, but I am sentimental. So it doesn't have to be expensive gifts, but you know, I keep my cards. I keep my presents, 
you know, at, you know, little tokens. My my daughters buy me stuff and they make their cards. I keep all of those things because I'm sentimental. And so, you know, when I say gifts, things to make me smile. I got it. That's what you need. Yeah, and it, and the challenge is knowing when I need them. That's the challenge, but I do know when you need those things. Yeah. I think I've, I've, I've become, I've mastered the art of knowing when you need them. I think you have, mm -hmm. um, but I think this is the first time I've actually described it as gray. Mm -hmm. I got gray. Because there's so many. I, I got gray. Stuff in there. You got gray? I, I got gray. I got gray. That's the first day kit, honey. I know. Like gray. It's gray. It's gray. It's red. It's gray. <laughs> I got gray. I hear what you're saying, and I understand Greg. Okay, so do you understand which song you just, what we just did? And we haven't talked about that need in Greg. This is the first time I'm hearing Greg, so I have to really take a moment and digest. Gray. I got it from Greg's Anatomy last yeah. week's episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I thought it was really well said the way it was presented. It, it was that, that it really um, described me. In this season. Yeah. You good? Mm hmm Okay. All right, let's close out. Men, go buy yourself a first aid kit. I think said every man has to have a tool kit. Well, we're talking about needs. We're not talking oh. about, yeah, every man, you got to get a tool kit. You, if, <laughs> if you ain't got no two men. That's no. another, that's another um, episode. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. But every man, and we're talking about needs for your wife, every man has to have a first aid kit. And in the first aid kit, because see, our wives have, may have gone through some in their past, and we have to know how to respond to that. For some, it wasn't any trauma. For some, it was, they grew up and it was, it was a, a, a healthy, uh, whole experience with no trauma but then there are some who who have experienced some trauma and mm -hmm. so i think it's important for every man to know what to do in the midst of the trauma so some some needs require just a little tiny band-aid when your wife says it hurts you got to figure out what kind of band-aid to say okay i'm going to heal that hurt it could be a medium sized band-aid. It could be a small tiny band-aid. But you have to know <laughs> it's a tiny band -aid. Yeah. For a tiny for a tiny hurt. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But then there's some you gotta break out the big boy. Because you have to respond to the need. Mm -hmm. And and again, and I'm making reference to our wives may have gone through something traumatic and we have to know how to respond to it. We can't ignore it. There's some we just need to go ahead and put a little bit of ointment on it, soothe it to meet the need. For some, there's an itch that needs to be scratched. Mercy. Benadryl. What? There's I didn't even know that was in there. It's in there. Gotta scratch the itch. Extra strength. Yeah, there's an itch. There's an itch and that need could be a sexual need. Mm. That that itch, you gotta scratch it. Don't say nothing. Okay. Let it go. <laughs> I see you just about to get all lathered up. <laughs> and so you just have to have a just it may need to just take a, a medicine, a pill or something. So the point of this first aid kit is to understand that for husbands we have to be prepared to respond to the need no matter what that's our job is to respond to the need i like that i like that a lot yeah so do you know what i need in there you know what size i need yeah i know what you need, what I need. right now based on what you said mm -hmm. i know you need something for your your pain mm -hmm. Oh, that was deep. Mm -hmm. Something for your pain. Okay. I know you need... Well, you know, typically you would need a smaller band-aid, but I think you need the big boy. Because of what's happening to mom and dad and right. everything. Okay, right. okay. I think you need that covering. Mm -hmm. Ooh, need the covering. Mm -hmm. Okay. I you know, think... you, you're not going to pick up the itch one? I'm about to... I'm about, hold on. I'm trying to find it here. 
I'm, I'm you afraid. You were that I'm, one. I'm afraid to even say. I think. I, <laughs> you know, my mom watches these vlogs, right? Okay. And she says, mom, bring it on. Mom is grown. How do you think you got here? <laughs> Shoot. Hey, mom. Mommy. <laughs> I think you need something for your itch. Mm -hmm. Let's turn these cameras off. All right, gotta go. All right, see y'all later. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Gotta go, it's 12.22. Oh gosh, so knowing the need, <laughs> knowing the keys <laughs> to meet the needs and knowing the first aid kit <laughs> ingredients. We should have named it something different. I know you had that, but. No, it's good. You know what the, the keys are, right? Ask what the need is, get clarity, study. Study. Your wife, those are the keys yeah. to meet the needs. Wives. Be specific, be brief, be mm. concise. Yeah, men, don't shut down, be patient, ask her, talk about it. So now that you know what, what you're, you're going to do, do with it. it. Until next time, Thanks take for watching. good care of yourself, meet those needs. Meet those needs. And I'm we'll see you next video. time. Bye. Chicka, 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 chow, wow. Hi, chicka, chicka, chow.